To create a new badge in your badge library from the Creator Tools, click on Create New Badge. The configuration of a new badge is done gradually through five steps. This tutorial is meant for us to go through its first three steps, starting by giving a closer look to Content, Message, and Issuing. Permissions and Endorsements steps are advanced options, which will be covered in specific dedicated tutorials. Firstly, we will configure the content of our badge, the badge class. Four elements are mandatory to create a badge. The badge's image, the name, the description, and the criteria. Together, let's create a badge that recognizes the ability to communicate on social media. To start, we need to add a badge image which was previously created with a generator or graphic design software. The image must be in PNG format and have a square shape. Then it's time to add information, the badge name, the description, what the badge recognizes, keywords associated with the badge. These keywords will be used to index the badge specifically in the Open Badge Passport search engine. It is possible to specify for how long the badge is to be valid, in months, by determining an expiration time for this badge. If no expiration time is given, the validity of the badge will be determined as unlimited. The created badge could be aligned with a competency framework, especially with the European ESCO framework. ESCO is a multilingual classification system covering skills, competences, qualifications and occupations. And finally, we will be expected to specify under which criteria the badge can be obtained. It is possible to save these criteria as a template in order to apply it to future badges. Now, let's handle the second step, message. Once a badge is issued, it comes with a message addressed to its beneficiaries. The message is to be configured in advance. We will here configure which message the beneficiaries are to receive when the badge is issued to them. We must define the subject of the email, the email body, the text for the badge download button, the text for the PDF download link, and finally the email footer, generally the name of the organization providing the badge, therefore typically your organization's name. Whether for the content or the message, you are invited to save all those elements as a template so that you can apply it to future badges. Now let's move on to the issuing step, where you can provide instructions for your badge issuers. This is an internal note for their eyes only. It could be used as a reminder, for instance, to remind them to double check an element carefully before issuing the badge. It is also possible to specify here if the demonstrations for the badge could be refreshed. Indeed, a badge owner may enrich his badge with new demonstrations later on. If you decide to select the checkbox named Issued Badges Could Be Revalidated, the badge owner could ask your organization to approve those as valid for the concerned badge. By default, the badge owner will still be able to add new demonstrations, but those would simply not be shown as approved by the organization. Finally, if you use sub-organizations, you can specify which ones will be able to issue the badge. Here, we have configured all the necessary elements for this badge. But in order for this badge to be ready for issuing, you still must tick the considered checkbox. 
Now that it's done, congratulations! Your badge is now ready for issuing. You can decide to issue it to the ones who earned it, or just start by announcing its creation in the Open Badge Passport. When you return to your badge library, you have the option to preview, edit, issue the badge, duplicate it, and delete it. You can also classify it in a category, for example here in a category named Soft Skills.